Hi, it's Mia. Hello, Facebook land. It's crazy because my phone, I haven't been able to do a Facebook Live for a really long time. Like, I've tried for a couple months. So at least the powers that be are with me. So good morning. It's um, 9.33 on a Saturday morning here in Los Angeles. It's lovely, it's cloudy, it's rainy, it's beautiful. I just want to um, come on more regularly and just say hi to everyone and to see how I can support people. Um, Saturday and Sunday are not just the only days to have a great time and be happy. We all are going through a lot of stuff right now. The energies are shifting and moving. Um, Yesterday was a really amazing creative energy day due to the numerology and the, the poll that I did for you guys, which is down below if you want to see it. Um, I'm going to come more frequently to you guys. We all have our things that happen. I've shared a little bit, just a teeny bit before that, um, well, maybe not specifically, but after Thanksgiving, I had an, uh, the day after I had an accident and I was laid up for a while so I haven't really been able to be on as much um, so and then, <laughs> then I had issues getting on on the, um, on Facebook with you guys so remember to continually and I ha cannot stress this em enough because I have a large community as a lot of people know and I see and hear it all the time that things are um, not smooth they're um, you know, a lot of people need help, whether it's money, whether it's happiness, whether it's joy, it all comes together. So I love to talk about, which is my thing that I teach, the art of warrior meditation. And literally it's about staying in that alpha space, getting out of the beta and staying in the alpha. The alpha is the up-leveled state of energy where it's the meditative state. And we can live in this state all the time. So when we're knocked back out into the beta, we just elevate ourselves. We do our work. We clear ourselves. We're constantly watching our mindset, watching our focus, watching what we're thinking, what we're taking in, and what we're putting out to the world. It sounds easy, right? Well, <laughs> guess what? It kind of is because if you are watching your thoughts all the time and you're clearing away anything, you know what happens when we're driving? There are people, it was so funny yesterday, I did a U-turn properly in a street and this woman came zooming up. She could have T-boned me if she wanted to, but she came zooming up and, uh, you know, I had the right of way, but she was honking at me. And then I kept going and then I pulled into a parking spot on the busy street and she kept honking at me. And I just was like, these are the simple things in life that we all go through, but are they necessary? Was it necessary, and I'm just sharing this so that you guys can see the difference. Was it necessary for her to honk at me first? Was it necessary for her to continue to honk at me once I found a parking spot? Things like that are what makes the world go around happy or not happy. Anyone who is out of, we'll call it alignment, because those who are in the spiritual world, this is the conversation that we have. When you're out of alignment, you're going to be honking and yelling and screaming at people. The most, uh, some of the most beautiful spiritual people I know get very crazy behind the wheel. So that means that's just a little tiny blind spot or an area that they need to work on while they're out with humanity because humanity does drive people crazy at times. So guys, just be aware of your mindset, your focus, what's going on. Um, it'll make you a lot happier if you don't get caught up with the human garbage that's going on. Sometimes stay less away from the media. Stay less away from the crap that's going on. I'm not saying to bury your head in the sand. I'm saying do what is right for you. Do what serves you best, which means there are times you may not want to be on media. And I'm not talking about social media, which is part of it. I'm talking about listening to the news, listening to the garbage, listening, hounding, hounding, hounding. If you are trying, if you're struggling and you're trying to stay elevated in your joy and your happiness, if you're always listening to things that get you down, the energy of people in your family, your friends, your neighborhood, the news, whatever it is, 
you have to remove that in order to elevate yourself and become happy and joyous and work on what's going on in here Re setting new patterns in our brain is very powerful very important being a love activist isn't just saying like a you know I mean I'll just use this word a hippie it's not just saying oh I love you I love you I love you it's literally getting into the trenches doing your own work on the love area and spreading it out forward for others one of the questions to ask is what would love do in any situation how would I handle this more loving emails that come through to you again traffic whatever how would I handle something more lovingly so that's just a little tiny few tips to to move you into this beautiful weekend remember if we stay elevated if we continue to remain happy if we get all the negativity that's around us and remove it out of our presence out of our space what is left it's a beautiful glorious space to be in that you want to be in if you don't want to be happy that's okay that's your thing but if you want to find peace and calmness and happiness look at your friends look at yourself it's really very simple to shift into something greater and different so I just want to wish you guys a really beautiful, beautiful, happy Saturday and Sunday. And I don't see any questions, so if there are, I'll answer them later. And just be, 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 be happy if you can. Just try to, um, if you desire it, it will start to come. There were several months with my foot, you know, when it was injured back after Thanksgiving where I was feeling really down and low. So when you profess even outward that you want something different, like I kept saying, I want to be happy. I want to be happy. I want to change this energy. And boom, you know, it changed because I was reminding myself on a regular basis that I wanted something different. So any questions, you guys know how to reach me either here or you can write me at miasigns.com and I'm happy to answer your, your questions. Happy to just say hi to you guys. All right, have a beautiful day.